Hi everyone, I am Kushbu Goyal, a CSC second year student who loves to explore different fields and who loves to empower others. I am also a Google Women Tech Maker Scholar where I am one of the 124 scholars over all the India. Apart from that, I am also a content creator. I have a YouTube channel with the name Kushbu Goyal where I teach students about different opportunities, scholarships, resources about engineering and that channel have got more than 1 lakh views in last one month. So I am blessed that I can help different students. So let's take up the first question. The question is what, what excites you about technology and why do you want to help other students explore and learn? The question is very simple. From the very beginning in the fourth standard, when I got my first computer, I was so excited about to learn about it. Starting from how to use paint and play games on that computer, then later on uh, opening the CPU to see what's inside it. Now I am stuck with different softwares and programming languages so that I can learn that how can I make my impact. I want to explore each and every field so that I can understand that how I can create a change. I want to empower others and I want to help others because I believe that we grow together. Even the tagline of my channel is, let's grow together. Whenever I got to know about some new resources, some new opportunities, I feel entitled to share it with the world because I feel like it's my duty if I know about something, if I can help other students about something, that I should definitely do it. So that's why I want to be the part of Microsoft family so that I can reach to more students and can help more and more students. Thanks a lot. Hi everyone, I am Kushbu Goyal, a CSC second year student. I am also a Google Women Tech Maker Scholar and a YouTuber. So the question is, how would you take a technical concept and teach it to a friend, peer that has never heard of it? Okay, so I have teach a lot of students and I know exactly where they lack. So whenever I want to teach some new concept to anyone, I firstly try to understand where they are coming from. What is their understanding of that concept? What do they know about that background? Uh, then when I'm able to understand their base point, then I can make uh, examples related to that so that I can understand. Also, I feel like it is very important to try to visualize what we want to learn. If we can visualize the things we are doing, then it's much more simpler to learn it. So whenever I feel like I can do something to make, uh, so whenever I feel like I can do something to make them visualize or think about what we are doing, I try to do those things. Even on my YouTube channel, I have made more than 45 videos about different interview questions in which I have used different presentations and animations so that I can make them understand that what this particular data structure is doing, what this uh, algorithm is doing, how we are moving forward in this question. So that's where I feel people lack. So that's the main point. I feel like if we understand where the person is coming from, what was, uh, why they are getting the doubts they are getting, then we can make easily make them understand the concept. Thank you. Uh, so hi everyone, I am back, Kushbu Goyal. So now the question is, if you were hosting an event at your school, how would you get students to attend? So I am active member of more than five societies in my college and attended a lot of events and, and even I have given some talks in my colleges and been invited to different other colleges. So I know that the main point why people don't uh, feel to attend these sessions, uh, they don't understand why they need this session. So the most important aspect when you promote an event is to tell them that what value they are going to get. So whenever I promote any event through different social medias like LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Telegram or uh, through email and Instagram and or even my YouTube, then first thing I tell them is these are the values you are going to get. These are the informations or the new skills you are going to learn. Then I ask them to register. Also, giving the reminders for the event really helps just one or two days before the event. Apart from that, the other things you can do is always keep in mind the timings of the student. That if you are 
that if you are uh, scheduling an event always try to find the time that is suitable for most of the audience how you can do that if in your college people have lunch break from 2:15 to 3 uh, then if you keep your seminar or workshop at 2:15 people might not want to attend it so better keep it at 2:30 so that you are giving them some time so that they can chill and relax and eat their food and then they will come to the your session so that can be really helpful if you can be a little mindful about your timings then that can help a lot with the audience you are going to reach and yeah and i'm really excited to be part of this microsoft family and to be able to reach more students and help them with whatever resources i can So I hope to listen from you all very soon and I will see you all next time. Bye.